Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. Distortion, the most essential guitar effect. Whether you prefer the subtle hair of an overdrive, the roar of a distortion, or the broken chaos of a fuzz, being able to increase the gain of your clean signal until it breaks up, distorts, and clips out of all recognition is intrinsic to the way that we now play guitar. What's better than one distortion, I hear you ask? Stacking two together, of course. By running one type of distortion into another, we can arrive at unique sounds as the symbiosis of styles yields a guitar tone that's greater than the sum of its parts. Rather than digging out all of my individual drive pedals, I have the Boss OD200 here, which has 12 different distortion types and a fairly unique boost function, which adds a further 15 drives on top of that, totaling up to a whopping 180 different stack distortion combinations. Now, if you're looking for a video that goes through each and every sound in turn, then what are you even doing here? You should know by now this channel is for talking technical about the product, and it says in the title, five ways to stack distortion. So you get five of the best examples if you stick around until the end. All the other reviewers who've done a video on this have taken half an hour or more to go through every single setting. So I would suggest Rabia's video, for example, if you want to hear all the sounds, and his playing is just incredible. However, if you want some tone advice and technical information that you just won't get anywhere else, keep watching. Suppose you are painting with acrylics, but the only colours on your palette are blue and yellow. That can be pretty limiting if only used individually, but having the ability to mix different amounts of the two colours together can arrive you at an all new hue, which is perfect for touching up the hull of the old rag doll. That's a Rosie and Jim reference, you're welcome. The same is true for painting with sound. While each colour of distortion might be useful individually, having the ability and the knowledge to combine them in just the right way can arrive you at brand new sounds which complete your sonic canvas. Like paints, just mixing any old distortions together will arrive you at a muddy mess, so careful consideration is required to reach a desired aesthetic result. One question, or rather naive criticism I get whenever I bring up the concept of boosting an amp or a distortion pedal with another drive pedal is, why didn't you just turn up the distortion on the first one? Because it's not all about having more distortion. It's about blending and restructuring the texture of that distortion too. Something you can't do by just turning up the distortion knob on a single device. As mentioned previously, there are three main clades of distortion. Overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. I have a handy video which details the differences between these, rolling in on a card somewhere at the top of the video panel right now if you want to check it out and bring yourself up to speed. By stacking a distortion with an overdrive, we change the structure of the distortion to give a uniquely different sound. Boosting instead with a fuzz gives us a different texture again, and adjusting the gain and distortion levels of each yields different hues of resultant sound. Overdrive into distortion can smooth over some of that distortion's roughness, tightening its response and creating a perfect punchy rhythm sound. Or stacking a fuzz can blur the edges, creating a sound that's more chaotic on its own, but one which will blend seamlessly into a mix and become a perfect lead tone. Remember too that the order matters. Which effect comes first and is feeding the next one in line changes the structure of the overall sound, so it's very much worth experimenting to find a sound that's appropriate for your application. Stacking distortions is all about selecting the textures of sound that will work well together, and as we can see from the Boss OD200, there are plenty of options to choose from, both in analog and digital forms. Now we'll look at five ways to stack distortion using the functionality of the OD200. This has four memory locations to store preset sounds that you create, as well as manual mode which does whatever is set up on the knobs. Alongside the two distortion stages, this also features an inbuilt noise gate with decay and threshold settings, allowing me to clamp down on any extraneous fizz generated by stacking distortion on distortion. An absolute classic setting used by the likes of Jimi Hendrix and countless other players through the 60s and 70s was to run a fuzz box directly into the front of a Marshall stack. 
The OD200 has the stacked drive setting, Bossy's take on the original wall of sound which can be set to a cleanish crunch for rhythm work, and it allows the user to boost with a fuzz for crazy sustaining lead work. This was just about the only way to get a high gain sound in the early days of rock and roll and it still sounds as good as it did 60 years ago. The square wave nature of the fuzz is great for melting lead work into a mix and for getting huge sustain out of single coil equipped guitars. death metal paved the way for aggressive processed metal sounds boosted with further distortion to really cause some chaos. Using the X drive setting, this flexes the digital distortion side of the pedal, getting a slick processed tone that reactively adapts to fast low string riffing. And adding the metal zone on top gives a huge grinding character perfect for downtuned death metal riffs and your paleontological grindcore project. Ah, oh, we'll suffer ruination through some combination of mutilation, compression, folding, tearing, scorching, and baking. Throw some active pickups into the mix and it becomes exactly the kind of gain overkill you'd expect from extreme music. <laughs> It's worth noting as well that the noise gate on this setting I have set with a high threshold and zero decay, meaning it will clamp down immediately a note stops, becoming a rhythmic part of the sound in its own right. This is a classic boss gain stacking with Dist, which I assume is based off the iconic DS1, being boosted by a blues driver, which does a fantastic job of smoothing out the distortion structure while adding enough of its own drive to push the tone into guitar solo territory. Silky sustaining single notes and a pleasant distortion all round provides you a tone that is expressive and can tackle many styles. <laughs> What if we want to go a little lighter? Well, we could just stack a couple of mild drives together. The main sound for this is the standard overdrive setting, which should be familiar to anyone who's used Boss's previous yellow stomps. We're running a Centaur into this, the mythic drive which introduced the pedal world to the slightly misleading and misused term, 
transparent. For what it's worth, adding the Centaur here does very little to change the structure of the underlying overdrive, but adds just enough extra to give it more bite and brightness while still retaining all that important touch sensitivity and playing dynamics. It really is the make it better stack option. than feeding one distortion into another in a linear series fashion. The OD200 allows us the opportunity to feed two distortions in parallel, getting two drive sounds blended in an entirely different way. To make best use of this tandem arrangement, it's a good idea to have one of the distortions have considerably more gain than the other. When blended back together, this results in a sound that still retains all the clarity and detail enjoyed at low drive settings while having the power and sustain that we find at high distortion levels. <laughs> This has convinced you on the idea of combining distortions and you want to take a look at the Boss OD200 for yourself, then links to this product will be in the description and the pinned comment underneath this video. And if you liked what you've seen here, perhaps you want to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. My Patreon is also there for exclusive secret stuff, t-shirts are available and there's other videos that you might not have seen. But that's all for now guys, keep it loud and I will see you later.